So this is the day when we turn the uh, starter into chef. So this is either day four you have fed your starter in the morning and now this is the evening of that day so you have four days worth of starter or this is any time you want to make bread tomorrow you pull this out of your fridge this will be the same process you stir this mixture up you take one cup out of it and set that aside and that'll be made into bread tomorrow and the rest will go back in the fridge I'll show you how to prepare both those things next and there's not a whole lot left, so what's left is the continuation of the starter for the fridge, the chef. Um, like I say, today's the day we split the process. So this here will be uh, what I make bread out of tomorrow. It's actually late at night now. It's going to sit overnight for eight hours. This is the continuation going back in the fridge. This, uh, I think I've been taking it out of here and washing the jar each time. So this is the chef going back in the fridge, but it has to be enough so that a week from now or whenever I make bread again, it has to have enough material in it so that I can take a cup out. So I must put at least a cup back in. And I'm using this to show that you don't have to grind your own flour. They have beautiful dark rye flour, stone ground, whole grain, organic in the stores. I always add the water first. And it's recommended it's a little more than a half a cup just because you want there to be enough material left, like I say, for next week. So that's a little more than a half a cup of water. And it's actually two thirds cup of flour added to the chef that's going back in the fridge. So there, that's the chef that's going back in the fridge for next week. This is my bread starter. This is now for tomorrow I'm making bread. I took a cup out of the chef. I add another cup of flour to it. And half a cup of water. And this, when it's mixed thoroughly, this will sit out for eight hours, room temperature. So this is the one cup of chef from the fridge and it's going to be working overnight on the new flour and water to spread through that, its microbial action. And then tomorrow when I get up, I'll make the actual bread dough out of it. That's a much drier paste than the normal uh, starters were. It's almost forming into a dough. In the morning we'll add, we'll continue with the recipe adding flour and water and making it into an actual shaped loaf after it sits for eight hours. Very good, so that'll sit out with a cloth overnight and the other will go back in the fridge for next week. It's a nice rhythmical process. Make bread once a week that way and uh, eat better, better nutrition.